Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, December the 31st, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A first for Race 8, their feature 3.46 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Alex M. Rob Stakes, 8.5 furlongs on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track. Three-year-olds and up racing for a stakes purse of some $75,000. Contenders number seven, Groom for Victory, number six, Inherit the Gold, number one, Stormy's Majesty, and number eight, Uncle T7. For you folks who enjoy a little Naira racing history, this stakes event was inaugurated in honor of Mr. Alex M. Robb for his contributions to New York State breeding. In 1932, Mr. Robb became associated with New York breeder Willis Sharp Kilmer and took charge of racing and breeding interests. 1942, Rob became the first executive secretary of the Thoroughbred Racing Association in 1946. He was invited by George B. Widener to be secretary treasurer of Westchester Racing Association and the general manager of Belmont Park. When the New York tracks merged in 1955, he stayed with the New York Racing Association and in 1962. He was invited by one Ashley T. Cole to rehabilitate New York breeding, he was named director of the Thoroughbred Breeders Service Bureau. Alex M. Rob passed away in 1985. Here in the 33rd renewal of the stakes event for New York Breads, number seven, Groom for Victory, shares the speed honors in this field with number six, Inherit the Gold, has hit the board in four straight, winning three times in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Ramon Dominguez and trainer Richard Dutro Jr. sent them to the post. They've whacked the tote board with 69% of more than 125 entries saddled as a team to date. Inherit the Gold, once again, number six, has won seven of 13 in his career to date, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, including a power run win in his second race back. Race eight summary, number seven, Groom for Victory, tops my contenders list on New Year's Eve day, which also includes number six, Inherit the Gold, number one, Stormy's Majesty, and number eight, Uncle T77618. In the eighth today from Aqueduct, the $75,000 Alex and Rob Sticks. Go to Gulfstream Park in Hallandale Beach, Florida next for race 5 to 25 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Nine furlong route test on the turf. Phillies and mares three years old. An up race for an optional claiming purse is some $64,000. Contenders number seven in the rough. Number six, Desert Sage. Number three, Roman Robin. And number four, Unbridled Essence. Number seven in the rough, a six to one shot, is the overall speed leader in this optional claiming field, racing at today's distance of nine furlongs on the turf. Has produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three, including a power run win in her second race back. Number six, Desert Sage, a British bred entry, is the pace profile leader in this field. Has also hit the board in three of her last five adventures, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Jockey Jose Lescano and trainer Chad Brown centered to the post. They've hit the board with 58% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Race 5 summary, number 7 in the rough, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 6, Desert Sage, number 3, Roman Robin, and number 4, Unbridled Essence, 7634 in the 5th from Gulfstream Park. Bonus long shots, Delta Downs, race 4, number 10, Fight the Storm, an 8-to-1 shot, has hit the board in power run fashion in two of her last three, winning in her third race back. Hawthorne race course, race four, number 11, Commando Cat. Four to one in the morning line is the Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier. The overall speed leader in this maiden field has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his two career starts to date. So handicapping from both Aqueduct and Gulfstream. On a Saturday with Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.